Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it's 2022. Yeah. Hopefully, 2022 will bring better things than 2021 did, especially the last day of 2021. Now, for some of you around the world, um, you know, maybe Betty White wasn't your country's total sweetheart. But to lose her on the last day of the year, it's like, it's a big to us from 2021. I mean, really. So, yeah. Still pretty gutted about that because I absolutely adore Betty White. Let's be real. She was our golden girl. One of them. And, uh, yeah. And she was planning a huge 100th birthday celebration in just a couple of weeks. So... I don't think she was ready to check out just yet either, but hey, that's the way the cheesecake melts, I guess. <sighs> anyway, on to happier things. Um, as far as life and stuff, well, lots of life and stuff, but there's been lots of work and except I am off today. Yes. And I was off yesterday, which was New Year's Eve, because that's when the company decided to celebrate the annual holiday instead of the Monday after, you know, corporate garbage, whatever. But what did I do? I stayed up way too late. Oh, yes. I wasn't up late, you know, partying or whatever. We just decided to go down the rabbit hole of music videos and videos about Betty White, because we did watch a bunch of those. And just stuff about the past, fun music. There, people put out compilation lists of, you know, the, the top songs of each month of each year, you know, for the last 40 years. And did we watch those? Yes, we did. Did I know just about every song? Yes, I did. Because, yeah, radio, uh, listening to radio, I grew up listening to radio. Some of you younger folks may not, you know, understand that so much, but we had radios with dials and we'd put a cassette tape in there once those came around and record stuff and make, you know, mixtapes and stuff. So yeah, a lot of those songs and I'm like, you know what? I want a huge mixtape or playlist now with all of these songs on it. That would just take a lot of work, but I thought it was a whole lot of fun. Like there was one that was 200 songs and I'm like, this is it. This is the thing. Tons of fun, but like we were literally up until after three in the morning. This is from someone who normally gets up at five or six. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Anywho, getting into the crochet. There is so much crochet going to happen this year. You don't even know. Okay. Um, I have like this pile of stuff over here that I'm going to be referring to. First, some things that I plan on doing this year. I want to make this. Yes, it's in black and white. I have a laser printer. I don't have a color printer. Um, this is the Spin Me Around um, blanket. And it is free on Ravelry. If I can remember, I will put a link down below. If not, just look for Spin Me Around on Ravelry and you will find it. Very, very cool blanket. I've seen a lot of people do it. And... I think that once I get the hang of the rhythm of it, I could just sit and crochet it and it just be kind of a TV project. This is something that I think I'm going to do or something similar um, with Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. She is going to be hosting another make along a whole year long. And of course in black and white again, but she showed this pattern out. I thought that was very cool. The stained glass windows blanket, another freebie. Um, yeah, and I think that's really cool. This is all very colorful. And instead of just using from Stash and stuff that may not, you know, work or whatever, I've actually made a Joann's order. Surprise! Um, but they had their $1.99 Big Twist value sale. Their Big Twist value is great value yarn. It's softer than Red Heart. You get a ton of colors. They don't have variegateds, though, which I'm, I wish they did because I bet they'd be really cool. But I ordered like a skein of this, a skein of that, a skein of the other, and a few skeins of stuff that I know that I'll use in other stuff. And it's coming. But I got an email saying, oh, part of your order has shipped. And this is something that Joann's does. It's like, dude, gather it all together and ship it at once. I'll be getting a box or a bag or something with three skeins of yarn in the next couple of days. 
No. Okay, I'm going to wait until I get it all in and do like a kind of grand showing once it all gets here because <sighs> getting, you know, three here and one there and two there, that's annoying. It's a waste of shipping. Ship it all at once. But anyway, that's just, that's my pet peeve for the day. Another pet peeve is post offices who are not open when they're supposed to be. I've got a prize that I'm supposed to send out. And I left yesterday, it was the middle of the afternoon. I go to the post office because I checked and it was supposed to be open. They're closed today for the, for the uh, national holiday for New Year's. They were supposed to be open the whole day, according to the Postal Service website. Oh yes. But our local towns here, they're just kind of special. They just kind of make up their own rules. I get there and I'm not alone. This is not a large post office, but there's about six or seven of us, of us standing around going, DF? You can translate that yourself, okay? This is YouTube. And there was a little sign on the door, you know, on paper like this. Just printed up, basically. We close it at noon today. Was not amused. Not amused. But I have grown as a person, okay? Years in the past, I would have walked up and, you know, done a little bit of physical damage to the building or screamed and shouted at someone. I didn't. I just seethed about it for a couple of hours until I was able to sit. Well, not maybe. It wasn't that long, actually. It just felt like that long because we had some place to be. Um, a place called the Pita House, which I have done reviews on and stuff before, um, all the way up in Greenville, which is about an hour away, was only open until 5 and they were going to be closed the rest of the weekend. This little family-run business. Great Mediterranean food. Oh my gosh. And we had kind of had loose-ish plans, you know, to maybe go and do that. And we decided, yeah, let's go do that. As soon as I get back from the post office, we'll go do that. I was also going to get cash at the post office. because You can get cash back on your debit card while you're there. Of course, I couldn't do that either. The reason cash was necessary was this place only takes cash or check. Yeah. Um... So, uh, so to get cash, we went, there's a little local grocery store, went in there, grabbed two beverages so that we have beverages all the way up and just grabbed a pack of like donuts, you know, in a package because I hadn't eaten anything. And I realized that part of my annoyance with the world was I was getting kind of hangry. Yeah, that happens. So. But the store was a zoo. And I don't mean with actual cute animals. I mean with the people-y kind of animals. It was so busy. The hubby actually dropped me off at the door and just circled around the building and parking lot a couple of times until I came out because there wasn't really any place to park either. It was that nuts. So got to the car, had the cash, ate the donut, and then started to crochet. And what I was working on while I was doing that crochet is a really easy project to work on when you're in the car, when you, you don't want to have to pay too much close attention to what you're doing. And yes, I will do my personal um, tutorial on the way I do corner to corner, which is a little bit different than the way some people do it. Um, it's just, you know, there are, there are as many ways to do crochet as there are people doing it. So that's how that works. This is on uh, working out of Mandela um, cakes. This is in the color unicorn. And yeah, so I got actually several rows done, just kind of ticking along and listening to music and chit chat and stuff. And of course the crochet calmed me down, turned me back into my very sweet self. Anyway, <laughs> that was what I was working on. This is sort of a back burner project. Um, it's not really for anyone or anything. I don't know how big it'll end up being, but that is what I'm, one of the things I'm working on. And I'm also using a bigger hook than the yarn calls for. It's a three weight yarn, as most people know with Mandela. And I'm using a six millimeter hook because I like the drape of it with the corner to corner in that. To me, it just works really, really well. So I'm going to set this over here. Next. Also, <laughs> this project was in a timeout for a couple of weeks because it was bad and it vexed me. I was making out of this really cool yarn, the uh, Red Heart Unforgettable in the color Dragonfly. 
to go with my oops, my uh, divine hat that I made, I was making some fingerless gloves. And I have to adjust the pattern because the original pattern is just too small for me. And that actually comes from the Secret Yarnery. Um, and I will have them linked below. She's, she's in uh, Kenya. Wonderful, wonderful woman. And I just, I have big hands and I have, you know, big arms and everything. So I had made this one. Well, I got my count wrong when I sat down to do this the other day to make the second one because it had been a little while. Okay. Let's get my finger through there. There's the one that I made. Yes, it fits. It's wonderful. It's great. Let me take it off and show it to you next to the second one that I thought I had counted correctly on. Uh, no. It's about one repeat too small. So this yarn is an absolute bear to frog. I love the Red Heart Unforgettable. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, really, you can't deny that. It's beautiful. But frogging it, oh, that, that's a special hell, you know, really. So I'm going to make another one in the correct size because I have some more yarn. And I'm going to make another one in the smaller size and I'll probably end up giving it to somebody else who has, you know, more reasonable sized hands. Yeah. So that one I took back out of timeout now that I've realized what I'm going to do with it. Because, yeah, it, it vexed me. It sat there and looked at me with its little side eye going, you're going to work on me? <laughs> no, not quite yet. So set that aside. Okay. Something else that I've been working on. Now, I want all y'all to be proud of me, okay? I know you said the hubby blanket doesn't get any love. And boy, I hope your hubby gets more attention than that blanket does, okay? But, but, the hubby blanket has had progress. And it's actually got some yarn attached to it right now. And no, I have not woven in this last week's yarn yet. Every couple of weeks, I go in and weave in my ends. I went from here at this progress marker all the way up to here. That may not seem like much, but this sucker is huge. Matter of fact, let's see how tall it is. I am almost six foot tall, and it goes a good six inches above my head, width-wise. It's a lot bigger than I intended it to be when I started, but when I started it, I had just started crocheting. So yeah, it's huge. This is a project that I can sit in front of the TV and do because it is literally extended length double crochets and single crochets in the little thin stripes. That's it, no pattern, it's just me doing my thing. Beginner crochet brain and all of that. But yes, I have been working on it. However, it has been too hot to work on a blanket in the last week or so. I'm in Georgia, I get that, but it's January 1st, and I looked at the temperature outside, and it's 72 degrees in North Georgia. I know, it's going to get cold again this next week. And I'm looking forward to it, because I want to be able to wear, you know, the hats that I've learned to make and other crochet things, because it's so much fun to wear your crochet. But when it's hot and humid, no. You see me in a sleeveless dress? Yes, because... It's hot. <sighs> All right, setting this down. Another thing that I am working on, notice there are no foes this week. There was an almost going to be a foe, but then it, I screwed up. But this is not going to be a foe for the whole year. This is the start, the project bag for my temperature blanket. I have done something on it though, and today, of course, there will be temperatures added to my little book. Let me show you my little book, and then I'll show you that. Little book, things I can't see on a, during a video call just because I think that's cute. I will add my temperatures in here, starting with January, the low and the high, and to refresh your memory, I'm going to do the low temperature on the inside and the high temperature on the outside, and then it's all going to be joined in white. This is my very first time doing any kind of top stitching, top stitch crochet, 
So don't hate at me. By the end of the year, it might get better. Um, I needed two squares to start off the top left of my blanket because I did graph it out what I'm going to have on there. I wanted to start with the year and every month is going to have a square just with, I thought I was going to put the name of the month and then I realized that is way beyond my ability. So <laughs> it's going to be the number of the month. 22 for 2022 and one for January. And I'm joining it in white. And yes, I want the join to show. I want there to be division. I want it, you know, I think it'll be a cool little element to it. So I did that yesterday. Um, so that's done. So I will every now and again show some progress on my temperature project because I intend to work on it every day. The little squares go very, very quickly. It's not like an entire row. So I'm going to have like 380 squares total on my blanket, but they're a little bitty. Aren't they cute? So yeah, I went with colors that I don't think I'll be using very often in the blanket because these are the colors for like over 97 degrees or something like that um, for the, the background there. So that is done. And by done, I mean the little squares are done. All right. What else is coming up? Oh yeah. There's happy mail. Like it says in the title, there is also an acquisition that finally got here. Like it says in the title, let's see, we're 16 minutes. We can do this. I want to start with my happy mail. This is coming from Australia. Look at that cute stamp. Let's cover up. We got some awesome stickers on the back. Love it. This is from Miss Christine to Arctic Wolves. Um, all the way down under. And yeah. It's humid. The envelope even feels humid because it's Georgia. All right. Put that back up there. Oh my. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, first off, I have to show you. Look at this sticker in here. Okay, let me figure out how to do this to where you can see it. The little koala. Oh my gosh. And it's a puffy sticker. That is so stinking adorable. Thank you. I'm going to set this over here so that it does not get lost in my massive yarn over there. Put that there. Now the front of the card. I have to tell you. I have never before received a card of any kind, Christmas or otherwise, that had koalas on it. That is so stinking adorable. It's got all the Christmas balls and everything. Merry Christmas with the koala and a little baby koala. And it says, Merry Christmas to you and your family. You know what? It came close to reaching me before Christmas. Don't you even worry about that. We all know that the mail is slow. I wouldn't care if this reached me in June, okay? This is an absolute delight. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Th that just tickles me. The, the cute little koalas. Oh my gosh. Okay. That nail made me very happy. And you know, I think it got here faster than this next thing I'm going to show you. Which I actually ordered and paid for, y'all. Finally, jammed into my mailbox outside. Which is not a big mailbox, okay? This was crammed in there. I mean, it's yarn, so it's, you know, it, it's crammable, but come on. Um, this should be, I haven't opened it yet, my Lion Brand Santa Sack that I ordered weeks ago. So let's see if I got the cool yarn that everybody else was getting or if I got stuck with loopy stuff. You know, if I got stuck with loopy stuff, I'm probably just going to, I don't know what I'll do. I'll just be annoyed. Okay. <sighs> okay. That's the whole bag. I dropped them the shipping label, but that's okay. The Santa sacks this year are actually kind of cool. I mean, that is a nice big bag if you're working on a blanket, which I'm doing several of. Yeah, we have seen those. They come with the tag. Packed by Elf 1878 from the workshop of Lion Brand. That's, that's kind of cute. I like that. I do like that. Lion Brand, you did okay. Oh, nice big opening drawstring bag. 
looking deep into the depths of the bag. Can you see in there? Not really. Besides, the red color really taints what is actually in there. Okay. I'm just going to reach in and get the smallest one first. Oh, it's a different color than I've seen other people get. How cool. This is a three-pack of the O oh Baby Organic in the color Coral. It is, each ball is 50 grams. It's 165 meters, and it's a two-weight. These two weights, you can double up if you need to and crochet them together. I've actually used a two-weight immersurized cotton to make a poncho. So if your girl can do it, anybody can do it. Um, don't know what I'll use it for. Heck, it may end up in a giveaway, but I think that's very cool. And yeah, 100% organic cotton. Yummy, delicious, organic. Who knows? Uh, okay, let's go to the next thing. Yes, I was hoping for some of this. I have seen this in so many people's bags and I am tickled to get this. Uh, this is the hometown, um, what, what is the weight? This is a six weight, it's a super bulky. It is 113 grams, 59 meters, 100% acrylic. And this is in the color of Elmore City Dance. Look at that pretty, it's sort of pinkish and it's nice and chunky. I will, and it says it takes two balls to make a hat. So I will probably end up making a hat that uses less yarn because I will do a different stitch, hello, and make something else with it. Maybe an ear warmer or something. I don't know. I don't know, but I think it's really pretty. I've seen this on several people's openings of their bags and I was like, gosh, I hope I get that. I hope I get that. No loopy stuff. No loopy stuff. Yes. Score. Oh, and by the way, I had a coupon. Not only were these on sale for $19.99 for the Santa sack, which is nine skeins of yarn. Okay. Not a bad deal, right? But I had a $5 coupon too. So your girl got it cheap because your girl is frugal. Now, the last of what is in here, ta-da, bag is empty. I have seen almost, uh, maybe even every person that I've seen open this sack get these. Did they make like way too much of this or something? Because everybody was getting these. I'm not mad at it. It is the Comfy Cotton Blend. And I think I still have, yeah, I have got some Comfy Cotton Blend in several different colors, which may or may not mesh with this. This is the mochaccino now the comfy cotton blend in case you're not familiar it is a three weight yarn it's not a real skinny three though i mean it's it's a good size three to where it's like maybe a four light okay so don't be upset at it if you, if you i only work with four weights you could do this uh to each ball is 200 grams 358 meters it's 50 cotton 50 polyester and again in the color of mochaccino which is a nice neutrally brown and normally I'm not a neutrally kind of brown person, obviously. I mean, you see the colors, you see the goofy stuff I normally wear. But, but I do have some other comfy cottons that this might work with. Matter of fact, this one right down here that I see will look very nice with this. So if I need more, I used, I think, four or five, but I made it super big when I did the America tank. It's like... It's got this much ease on each side, okay? What I did uh, on the hook with Jean, her America tank. So I could do another one in a more form-fitting size with these three. I probably still have a little bit left over. This is awesome. I am not mad at the Santa Sack line brand. It took you a while to get it to me, but you did good. You did good. Did you order a Santa Sack, any of y'all? Let me know what you got. Now that you've seen other people opening theirs, would you order it if they came available again? Because every now and again, they come up and you can get them. And I'm always looking and waiting for people to say, the Santa sack is here. And I, yes, I get the emails, but I mean, do you know how many emails I get in a day? Way too many. Way too many. Yeah. So what is coming up this week? Well, this week you will have book look book look hopefully I'll remember to stick it up there 
Uh, there will also be time for tea because there's always time for tea. That's on a Monday. Tastes around the world on Tuesday. And then who knows from there on out. <laughs> Thank you for coming by. If you've made it this long to the video, y'all, you got some patience. Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, I'd love it if you hit the like button on your way out of here. If you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It's kind of fun around here most of the time. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.